Hey guys, it's Belle here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day in the life. Today we are with the Pleasant twins. Angela and Lilith Pleasant have moved into an old family home located in Gibbs Hill to attend the prestigious universities in Brightchester. It will be a true test to find out whether their bond as twins can overcome their differences. Their majors have already split them into separate universities, but whether they will be at odds or work together to make it through is a new challenge in their life. So they live in a big lot called the Mossy Lane and it is situated in Gibbs Hill, the town that is in between both universities. The prominent half of the spacious two-lot complex Mossy Lane is an idyllic location beneath beautiful blue skies and an impossible location to forget. So it's probably their parents who pay them everything. Apparently they are from a very rich family but I only know the pleasant in The Sims 4 so I will talk to them and refer to them in The Sims 4. So let's talk about Angela Pleasant. She's a young adult. She's in the bodybuilder career level 5 personal trainer. She has the painter extraordinaire aspiration which comes with the music trade. She's neat, good and a foodie and she just started to study at Brightchester University in the art history degree program. She has introduction to art history, uh, brushes with greatness and interpreting the artist. So she's going to Brightchester, you of Brightchester. Then Lilith Pleasant, her career is a painter career, level four. She has the public enemy aspiration, which comes with the dastardly trait. She's a loner, a slob and a kleptomaniac. She just started to study at Foxbury Institute in the villainy career. She has also three classes, simple tricks and traps pretending for profit and effective bribery. So let's jump right in. So we are in the morning and Angela is getting up. She has this most luxurious bedroom. If you didn't know better, didn't th think that she was a student. Lilith has the smaller room and I wonder if this is on purpose. I don't know anything of the history of these two. I wanted to go into their lives unprepared and make my own stories about if you know their story or if you want to let me know what happens in your save game please let me know so what i can tell you is they didn't have any classes today which is a good thing because they attend two separate universities and it's kind of difficult to um make them go there plus the classes are rabbit holes so we wouldn't see it anyway so it was a good thing that it started when they had class just the next day so we will spend a quiet day with them at home and see what they are up to i was surprised to see that at least angela was already working on her uni homework but this is a good thing because there is so so much to do and let me just say, these two sisters are so beautiful and I was just staring at them while I was recording. I can't get enough of them. I love them and although they look the same, they are so different. They have so many different styles and I can't wait to play with them a little bit more. Although their house is not that bad, I will of course go and renovate it as I always do in my Belgaru's renovation series. I'm not sure now if I will do the Laurel Library first or their house, but I tend to do their house first because although I'm a librarian in real life, I don't really know how I could change the Laurel Library at this time. Maybe I need to play more with The Sims for Discovery University, but I have been following them for one day and one night and I really want to give them a different look their house is great there's so much potential and i can't wait to see how this will turn out i'll probably make a belgruz renovations in february but we are only on the 19th of january today and let's have a look at them this is their i think their pajamas i love angela's top i love the color yellow and they are so cute together and 
they are already spending so much time together. I just love that. I always wanted to have a twin. I have a younger brother and we have a very good relationship and I I wouldn't have any other sibling, but I always wanted to have a twin sister, which is weird. It's probably because I read a lot of books uh, about twin sisters who went to boarding school together and had a lot of fun there so i think that's why but i love my brother and he's probably um listening to this video so hey he and his wife are watching my videos together which is awesome so i wouldn't trade him in for anything but i always wanted to have a twin sister that looked exactly like me but i also know that it can be quite different so if you are a twin let me know what um, life is with a twin, twin sister or a twin brother. I like the fact that they are different, they have different personalities. So far it is not that interesting what they are doing, they're just sitting on the sofa together. Angela looks so, you know, well together, like she has everything figured out. And Lilith seemed more rebellious, more mischievous more living the uni life so i wonder if they will do something a bit i don't know mischievous a bit fun if they go outside if they ride a bike i gave them both a bike i put it in their inventory i really want to see what they will do they also have a new tattoo i think you can see that on lilith they are both doing homework that's awesome I'm glad they're doing this on your on their own because university can be very challenging in real life of course because I went to university for some years but also in the sims which is good but it is really stressful if you have more than one sim to focus on and although I have played with Kate and Mac Carleone for Life of Brychester and Life of Foxbury, I still have to play a bit more to figure everything out and of course I wanted them to have good grades but I think if you don't do anything you can then you will not have A plus in every subject so I'm glad they are already doing their homework because they start their class tomorrow I also like that she is wearing something pink, being a redhead. I think it's a great combination. And uh, uh, Lilith, of course, is wearing all black. And I love that they have these names. I mean, Lilith is, I think, a demon, if I remember correctly, or a mother of demons or something like that in mythology. But I could be totally wrong. And Angela, of course, is the angel. I love that they have these names so she's cooking mac and cheese and you can see her tattoo here I think it's a cat or a dog and um, wow wow she was oh she's cooking for her and her sister that's very sweet I thought she would be um, mean and she would only ca take care of herself but that's not true it is really sweet although they are not sitting together Lilith wants to continue to watch something on television. Angela is sitting at the table like the good girl that she is. And oh, who's that? This is probably a friend of theirs. I hope they interact together. She's, she looks nice. She looks sweet. I hope they talk to her. Why don't you go and uh, check on her? She wants to talk to you. Uh, they often don't do anything with with um, the welcome wagon. Unfortunately, Lilith is uh, <laughs> is in the bathroom and she didn't wash her hands. So, oh my! But Angela did. So this shows that uh, they both are so different. I didn't really look at their skills if they have any skills. This is the world of Gibbs Hill. It is so beautiful. I think this is already somewhat in the afternoon because I had to cut out some parts because unfortunately so far not spectacular things were happening they are just sitting in front of the TV I mentioned that in my three houses part two it will uh, pop up on the top right corner of this video that uh, often when sims have a TV in their household nothing happens which is a shame 
So I wish I thought of that and took their TV out, but normally I don't want to change much in the day in the life. I also put them outside, I have to tell you. I made them go outside and I thought they could go on their bike somewhere, but their house is not very uh, good for going with the bike, or at least it was not possible then. And uh, it's probably already night time. Angela is going to bed like the good girl that she is. And I thought that Lilith would stay up late, but I didn't think that she would do some more homework. So that is really um, strange. I thought she would maybe do some mischief or head out somewhere. Although the Sims, unfortunately, don't do that. I wish they would go somewhere and they would make it more exciting. Here we have Gibbs Hill by night. It is so beautiful. That's why I had to film a little bit of that. But let's go back to the angel sleeping like an angel with the bubbles, of course. You know me. And I wonder what she's dreaming about. She wanted to go to bed early because her first day at university starts. I wonder if I play some more with them, how this will go, if they will have rivalries or if they will still stay friends. I think it's a good thing that they don't go to the same university because twins tend to be so close together and I think it's important that they have their own identities, their own look and their own friends. So going to different unis is a good thing and I think it's great that The Sims brought back brought the Pleasants back to The Sims 4. I think they were in The Sims 2. I'm not sure if they were in The Sims 3. I never played with The Sims 2 and I barely played with The Sims 3. So all I know is The Sims 4. So let me know more about them. I also love that they have a different look for their rooms. I will also keep their rooms that way, but I will make it different. And Lilith is also dreaming. Lilith also has bubbles, but I'm sure she's up to way more mischief in her dreams. So, unfortunately, nothing happened during the day. They didn't do anything special except for studying. Of course, if they had maybe a ping pong table or other stuff in their house, they would do more interesting stuff. Uh, if you remember the day in the life of the Bear Sisters, they had that special gaming rig and they um, used that a lot. So the more objects they have, the more they probably do, but here they only have the TV. So it's the next morning and Angela is getting up early. And what is she doing? Oh yeah, she's continuing to do some of the university homework, which is fantastic. I so love her top. I know I said that already, but I really love Angela. I think I prefer her look, although I love the rebel that is Lilith, but I think I prefer Angela. I will try and maybe give them a makeover. I am not sure yet. So Lilith is still sleeping. I think she doesn't care that much. She also wants to study. She also is very ambitious and wants to make a good impression and get a good degree. But she also wants to have a lot of fun. And uh, I think uh, Angela is almost finished studying. Will she go up and make some breakfast? I'm not sure, but Lilith is up yet. And oh, she's farting. Oh, good. Very good, Lilith. <laughs> so she's going um, downstairs and you know what? They actually take the mac and cheese that is not good anymore and they eat it because they could have put the leftovers in the fridge, but they don't do that and it's annoying. And look at them. They are disgusted and they hate it, but they continue to eat that. So they will be, feel very uncomfortable for their first day at university. So well done, girls. Oh my, I just can't. But anyway, this is almost the end. I hope you had fun, although not a lot happened, but that is the day in the life. We just watch pre-made themes, do whatever they want to do. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Have a wonderful time and take care. Bye guys. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.